Alright guys, good evening from Saudi, from Philippines, good morning. Okay? So ngayon nandito po ako para magluto ng special creamy maha blanca. Okay, but before we start the cooking, guys, enjoy watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? So right now, before I start cooking special maha blanca, okay, first you have to secure uh, the sanitary first. Okay, make it sure that you can you wash and of course you do sanitize your hands okay so for that we will use for food safety we should have the hernet okay and then we should have the mask okay and then most especially we should have her the gloves okay guys hope you enjoy while watching Okay, but right now I'm with my staff. Alright. Muhammad, introduce yourself. Taan, Hena. Hena, I have with my staff. Esma. I'm a cyclist now. I come on back, my man. Esma. Hey. Hello. Shopping book. Oh, you want. Hey, before I go. Okay, he's from? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Okay. And then I have also with my one staff, Esma. No, come on, Rock. No, I'm Rock. 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 And I have a corn store. Okay. So first we're gonna do we will mix all of these into a cooking pot. See? see the there are some different floors. Okay, there is uh we have also an ordinary floor and we have a corn starch and other uh name of corn starch. Right? But the best uh, ingredients that we're going to use for cooking maha blanca is an oil starch, not an ordinary flour. Okay? Okay, we will mix this in a cooking pot. Um, anyway guys, before that, I have with my staff also, Michael. Where are you from, Michael? Where are you from? USA. Oh, see, this came, this came from USA. Well, I don't believe this is came from USA. Alright, we will mix it. Oh, sorry guys, I cannot show how do I mix because nobody will hold my phone. No. There's someone voluntary holding my phone to see how do I mix this one. Okay. See with this, we will mix. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it will be success. Because you know what guys, right after all the documents I've done up in the office, napaisip ako na magluto ng mahablangka. You know what comes on my mind why I decided to cook mahablangka today, tonight? I remember my auntie and my cousins that every we have celebrations like party or anything else, this we know na hindi makakalimutan yung mahablang ka kasi yung si tita ko mahilig magluto ng mahablang ka kahit daw nakakapagod kong lutuin at mahirap gawa nga daw sa paghahalo pa lang while on sa fire siya mahirap talaga kasi nga hindi mo siya pwedeng basta basta lang iwanan at pakuluan gawa nga yung masusunog Pero ganun pa rin siya. Sige lang, luto lang daw. Dahil nga daw, yan yung favorite nilang lutuin. And of course, I will put some full milk. Alright. Oh! Anyway, I forgot the coconut milk. Let me check if we have coconut milk. Well, but we have secondary option. If you don't have coconut milk, we can use 
coconut powder. I have here right now coconut powder because here in Saudi Arabia, wala. Mga kabayan sa Pinas na nunoon, ang hirap maghanap ng, alam mo ba yung anong tawag nga dun? Gata. Gata? Yun, ang hirap dito ng hanapin yan. So, most here they are used uh, coconut milk, coconut powder instead sa pure gata. Okay, we will mix it. We will make it sure that during the mixture, all the ingredients was dissolved. Alright? Okay, and then we will mix the corn. Where are you from? Miamia. Es Miamia. Yeah. Es? Eh, malam Arabik lah. Eh, mapi malam Arabik. Aiyah, ala tol mian ni, ala tol ini bagi mapi malam ah. Aiyah, mapi muskila. Muskila. Eh, and then we will mix the milk since I don't want to use sugar because we are here in restaurant, so our product no sugar, no salt. We have a lot of sugar here. Do we have sugar here? Yeah, the black one. But can you please? Get the sugar. But guys, just to inform you, ah, we use sugar here near our in the restaurant for cooking the staff meals, okay? Because here in our restaurant, we are a diet product, all right? We don't eat, we don't use any preservatives, sugar, salt, or any taste seasoning. Okay, nandun na siya, magkikarik na. Okay. Get give me spoon, mahali. Ah, mahalaga. Malaga. Get. Mahalaga, baby. Si, magdoro. Spoon, spoon, la. Spoon. Kalama da spoon, spoon, spoon. Eh, kalam, kalam spoon. Hmm. Now we I smell cream. Guys, okay. yeah. Anyway, just to remind again, don't forget to watch, enjoy watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do have any questions about this, don't forget to comment down. Okay. Okay. Give me bottled water. Moya, moya. Malu moya. Moya. Wala. Moya. For you to maximize and minimize how many, how millimeter the water, all right. All the empty cans that you use for your ingredients, you should put water. That's how. That's what I do. All right. Okay. 
Okay, well, we have a scooper here, okay, but this one there's no measure cup, so I use 120 ml or half cup. Okay, so I will put two half cup equivalent to one cup. Just to make it sure that it's not very sweet. It's just a medium sweet. Okay. Now I'm ready to. Again, we will stir until it will be dissolved. If it will be dissolved, that's the time that we're going to put on cooking. Okay. See guys? Now... I'm staring, staring this one. All right. I'm just making sure that all was be dissolved. Anyway, sa mga taga Pinas, hopefully you enjoy watching. You will have some ideas how to make special kimi maha blanca. Especially, this is a good menu. For the occasions like birthdays, this is a good dessert. All right, now I think it's ready to put on. Okay. Remember, guys, the ingredients for cooking maha blanca is that. You have a full full milk, cream, condensed cornstarch, and then of course a corn. Okay, and of course most especially to mix the smell good, you have to use the coconut milk. Okay, now it's ready to put on the fan. Okay, but guys, remember, if it's ready to cook, you have to control the fire. Now I will transfer it to. Okay. Well, I apologize, guys, for some errors delayed because I'm alone only doing this all my stuff was so busy so busy outside have you seen that one we have some customer outside so their manager is here inside the kitchen cooking something showing this instead of helping but I believe that they can carry it they can manage outside because it's not yet really too much customer we're about to close the back row. I will transfer to the other side. You see, there is no gas. the most important thing while waiting to cook this one we first we have to put the fire on the medium okay until such time that it will be heat and you will see that it's boiling okay you will control the fire going down to low fire okay and then of course while waiting you have to mix this Stir until it will be sticky. Right. But of course, guys, remember doing preparation of the foods. You don't. You should always keep in mind and remember that food safety and sanitary first. Okay. Before handling of any ingredients, you should make it sure that we are 100% safe. 
zero bacteria or MSA. It's not really zero bacteria. In short, the uh, food safety. Alright, uh, I think it will cook right uh, about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Alright, we can start transferring this to uh, any pot that you're going to use for keep this cold. I was about to think a while ago that why not I'm going to cook a uh, mahablanca, a crispy mahablanca. That's the, that's what I'm thinking a while ago. Uh, instead of instead of cooking a special creamy mahablanca, I was thinking to cook a uh, crispy special mahablanca. But then. Uh, I don't have enough some of ingredients to cook for this for the crispy mahabla. Okay, we, we, I'm going to adjust the firing to medium okay this is how looks like when you are boiling the maha blanca well anyway just to show you something guys I was remember before when way back when I was in the Philippines Bacal City to the house of my uh, Tita, Tita Janet Campos. All right, this is, this Mahablanca is uh, what do we call this one? Best menu to her. Also, my cousin in Japan, she also likes cooking Mahablanca. Hmm, I already smell. How uh, how I wish guys you will smell also while watching the video. You will smell the good things of Maha Blanca, uh, the good smell of rather the good smell of Maha Blanca. Don't worry guys cuz I'm going to put the the ingredients for this or what I mean the recipe of Maha Blanca all right while before you gonna watch you will see down at the description of this video you can see the ingredients of cooking special creamy Maha Blanca okay Well, actually, uh, I want also to put some butter, but unfortunately, our butter here in the restaurant, well, no more stock. So, so what we have, I find a way to cook special creamy maha blanca. And then right after I cook this one, I will try to share this to my staff. Bangladesh, Nepal, Saudi. I will let them taste Bangladesh. what is the Mahablanca in Philippines. For sure right after they eat or right after they taste this one. Wow. Bangladesh. 100% they will request me them. to cook every time. 
Ada Bangladesh, ada. Ada Bangladesh. Bas Bangladesh badin muk mapi kulo, mapi malam Arabi. Hmm, wow, yummy. Si guys, if it is about to off the fire, you will see the texture of this mahablangka or creamy mahablangka. It will be sticky or it will be a little bit um what do we call this? Don't worry guys, because I'm going to edit this video for you to see the final. Okay. Alright guys, sa nakikita nyo po, eto na po siya. Tingnan nyo po siya kanina, diba parang tubig pa siya ngayon. Parang naging malambot na siya, malapot na siya. We will wait some, a little bit, uh... In a few minutes, we can transfer this. Okay? Nakikita nyo naman yan, o. Okay, ayan guys. Nakikita nyo po. Ready na po siyang ilipat sa sa fan. Okay, sa frying fan. Or let me say, sa malaking palanggana na lang, mga kabayan. Okay. Alright, uh, I really smell the good taste, the coconut, the cream, I smell it, but of course, see, mm -hmm. okay, alright, right now guys, okay, hopefully will be success my special creamy maha blanca, okay, I will transfer the special creamy maha blanca here, Okay, if may mahanap po akong mga parmesan cheese or any kind of cheese, melted cheese, I will try to make this creamy special maha blanca into crispy special creamy maha blanca. Okay. Alright, we have to be very careful doing transferring with this okay alright mm -hmm. oh Abibi give me la Okay, this is how I work. Okay, this is how I paint. Okay, we will see the outcome of my special thing, Mahablanca. Okay, now there is some. We have to make it sure that everything was being transferred. Oh my god. Alright, now since I transfer, we will wait this until it will not be heat or dissolve or... Until it will become cold and then you will put on the fresh. Then I'm going to use I will put some cheese
Look for the top ones. You wanna eat this one? You like? Like. If you don't like, voila. Yeah, you yeah. cannot eat. I will cover it. Okay, then you have That guys, I try to cover this one because I will try to bake again. All right, guys, since na cover na siya, hindi na siya masado malamig. Ilalagay ko po siya muna sa chiller for 20 minutes para mas konting lalamig and then right after 20 minutes I will put on the oven there is an adjustment I will put for 30 minutes also for cooking in the oven then right after that you will see the finished product of the crispy maha creamy maha blanca so okay na po guys may 20 minutes na po siyang sa chiller now I will transfer him in oven okay okay now I will put here inside for 30 minutes this is what we call crispy creamy maha blanca I thought we should put in the chiller not in the, in the oven But the best is here. But the sea is not here. Oh my god.
All right. Guys, as you can see, I put into 30 minutes timer, okay? But then the temperature would be 250, okay? And then the cooking mode would be high. So 30 minutes, it's enough for microwave the crispy. Just to melt the cheese and just a little bit of crispy down. Uh, below with the part of the Maha Blanca alright that is the purpose why I put inside the microwave okay right after 10 minutes we will see the finished product of crispy Maha Blanca alright guys um, still on oven so we still have 10 minutes left after cooking with the inside the oven Alright guys, alright now 30 minutes is done. Okay, so now we will see. But guys, warning before opening the heat up, remember you have to use pad holder. This is a warning part. See it's very hot. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's just like a one hole. All right, I'm not pretty sure if is it success or not. Okay, but let us check. Shreya, Shreya. Oh my god. So this is how I cook, but then see, let's wait until it will be cold, okay? But you know why? It's very smell good. Alright guys, um, anyway, before I end this video, I would like to thank for those who are watching my video. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe my video, okay? Uh, for the next episode, uh, stand by and you will see another episode what I'm gonna prepare and what I'm gonna cook, okay? But just to remind, alright, I'm not your chef, I'm not your chef, I'm not a chef, but as long as you are determined to be a chef, you will be a chef. Okay? Thank you and good morning. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye!